called Valyria, and the Age of Dragons. With House Targaryen and ha Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? Green. Congratulations, stepbrother. What a blessing this is for you. Please be seated. <coughs> An outsider among the natives. Lord Larith. No Valies. Rare bloom. Indigenous to Bravos. Yeah, by all rights, it shouldn't be thriving here. Nature, such mystery. The weather has been lovely. Indeed. And yet it is a dark day for the realm. Your father was a good man. As is yours who took his place. And still, the manner of your father's departure, I feel something of an injustice. What do you know of the manner of his leaving? Well, when one is never invited to speak, one learns instead to um, observe. You are perhaps in need of an ally? I am the queen. I have no shortage of allies. Naturally. Princess Venera, for example. State your purpose, my lord. Oh, I did wonder if she could be relied upon now that she is unwell. Unwell? I haven't heard anything. Begging your pardon, your grace, I may be mistaken. It's just that on the very same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the princess's chambers. A tea? Yes. That the Grand Maester himself brought? At the direction of the King, as I understand it. I do hope she's not unwell. Rhaenyra sailed with the King to Driftmark yesterday at daybreak. Oh, what good news. I must have been in error. Oh, a relief. <laughs> See, I thought for Melos himself. That condition must be something very serious. What happiness it is to have been wrong. Say your piece. Now what piece is that? I've conducted myself in a manner unbefitting my station. Or any other. I lost composure. Assorted the princess. Already the word is spreading, the gossip speculating that I've gone mad. All true. I've disgraced myself and ensured my husband's favour will forever rest on her. And yet, 
I've never seen that side of you, my daughter. I even doubted its existence. It was an ugly thing. I regret it. We play an ugly game. And now, for the first time, I see that you have the determination to win it. Now go to him. Be penitent. Plead the injury to your son. Keep a grip on your passions. And I promise you, in time, you and I together will prevail. What that rogue Aemon has done in winning Vega to our side. The boy was right. It's worth a thousand times the price he paid. But in the world, we must defend our own. It was funny. Do you think Rhaenyra's sons will be your playthings forever? As things stand, Rhaenyra will ascend the throne, and Jocera's Targaryen will be her heir. So. Oh. You are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short-sighted? If Rhaenyra comes into power, your very life could be forfeit. Aemon's as well. She can move to cut off any challenge to her succession. Then I won't. You are the challenge. You are the challenge, Egon. Simply by living and breathing. You are the king's firstborn son. And what they know, what everyone in the realm knows, in their blood and in their bones, is that one day you will be our king. Show me, show me. Who did this? They attacked me! Enough! I'm going to kill you! Why did you do Enough! It's my son telling the tale! Call us! Silence! Eamon, I will have the truth of what happened. The Prince Lucera has brought a blade to the ambush. He meant to kill my son. It was my sons who were attacked. The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. My sons? are in line to inherit the Iron Throne, Your Grace. This is the highest of treasons. My son has lost an eye. Where is Selena? I wonder the boy's father. Perhaps he might have something to say in the matter. Yes, where is Selena? Aymond, your king demands an answer. Who spoke these lies to you? It was Agon. Where did you hear such calumnies? Agon! Everyone knows. Just look at them. We are a family! Now make your apologies and show goodwill to one another. Aemond has been damaged permanently, my king. Goodwill cannot make him whole. I know, Alison. There is a debt to be paid. My dear wife. He is your son, Viserys. Your blood. Do if the king will not seek justice, the queen will. Sir Criston, bring me the eye of Lucerys Valarian. You will do no such thing. Stay your hand. No, you are sworn to me! Alicent, this matter is finished. Do you understand? Your Grace. Alicent, stay with the king! Hold your breath! Hold your breath! Do not suggest it! Alicent! Do not suggest it! I've wanted the kingdom, the family, the law. No! You've gone too far. Release the blade, Alicent. And now you take my son's eye. And to even that, you feel entitled. Will you flout it all to do as you please? Alicent, let her go! Where is duty? Where is sacrifice? But now they see you as you are. Fight! This proceeding is at an end. <laughs> Lionel strong son has been staring at you since the moment we arrived, Your Grace. Unabashedly. It is only a look of pride, Sir Criston. Laris is the new Lord of Harrenhal. 